Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Ida Murni Jamari from YMS EduTech Learning Hub. Inshallah, we help students to improve by two grades in less than three months. So where am I right now? I'm having my lunch before my next class starts at 1.30 p.m. So I'm at my friend's cafe, the Coffee Central. So we are located in the same building, which is Icon at Changi. My classroom is at level two and uh, Cafe is at level one. So over here, she serves cheesecake, apple pie, um, pancakes, waffles, okay? And like right now, I'm having my lunch. So I'm having chicken burger and fries. And my husband will be having his salad. Okay, so as the title goes, how to score full marks for GCO level science chemistry mold concept question. Very easy. So what you need to do is to sort out the four important formula for this topic. So the first formula that you must know involves mass. So how do we calculate mass in mole concept? Mass is equal to mole times an R. Okay, so this triangle comes in handy. The first time we saw this triangle was during our primary 6 math class where our teacher taught us how to calculate distance, speed and time using the, this triangle. So this triangle is very useful when it comes to solving mole concept question. Okay, so the first triangle you must know is mass is equals to mole times MR. The second triangle that you need to know involves volume of gases. Okay, so for the second triangle, this is only for gases where volume is equals to mole times 24 dm cube all right please remember this is only for gases okay second sorry third triangle involves concentration so in calculating concentration what is concentration so recap, what is concentration? Concentration is the number of particles per unit volume. So there are two types of concentration that you must know. The first one involves mole. Okay. So concentration in mole per dm cube is mole divided by volume of the concept of the solution. All right. Take note. The unit of the concentration is mole per dm cube. So you must make sure that your volume is also in dm cube. And how do we convert cm cube to dm cube? Okay, so our chemistry teacher has kindly taught us that 1 dm cube is equals to 1000 cm cube. So every time when you do a calculation for concentration of solution, you must make sure that your volume is in dm cube. And the last triangle that you must know also involves concentration. That is concentration in grams per dm cube. Okay, so just now I have mentioned that concentration is the number of particles per unit volume. And these particles can either be in mole or in mass. So to calculate concentration in grams per dm cube, that will be concentration in mole per dm cube multiplied by mr okay so these are the four triangles that come in handy when you solve the mole concept question why does it come in handy because looking at the question you will ask yourself what information will you have from the question okay let's take a look at the first triangle mass is equal to mole time m times mr it's very easy to get mr value you can get it from periodic table and then you have to refer to the question what are you given are you given mass or are you given mole if you are given mass that means you can simply calculate mole using this simple formula of mass divided by mr all right and then you can apply the same to the other three triangles okay that's all that I'm sharing with you on how to score full marks for more concept question. Please sort out your four triangles. Please make sure that you know these four triangles very well. Make sure that you don't um, 
you don't confuse the mass and volume. Because from my experience is that students always involve mass and volume when it comes to more concept calculation. Okay, that is wrong. Right? If you look again at this triangle, come, 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 look again at this triangle, the mass and the volume, mass and volume, they have different triangles. Okay? Mass and volume never come in one triangle. So please take note. Okay, so once again, I'm Idamuri Jamari. I'm at Coffee Central. So come and support my friend. Look at the spread of food that we have here. I'm having my lunch. Okay, I have a chicken burger and fries with a drink. Okay, and my husband will be having his Caesar salad. Look at the portion. I think it is a generous portion. Okay, so once again, I'm Idamuri Jamari from YMS Edutech Learning Hub. Inshallah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!